Hello, a warm welcome to you from SGT University. I am Asad Habib, Faculty of Engineering and Technology. Today, I will be going through a detailed introduction to engineering mechanics, which will answer certain questions like what is mechanics and what are the different fields of mechanics. So let's start this session and get answers to these questions. In mechanics, we study the behavior or response of a body under the effect of force or multiple forces. These forces are generally being applied to the body through an external means or source. Now, there are three important questions which need to be answered for better understanding of the concept of mechanics. What do we mean by a body? What is force? And what is the behavior or response of a body? Bodies can be anything like a box, a chair, flowing water, air contained in a cylinder or even the cylinder itself, a car seat, a bridge, piston, aircraft wing, etc. In other words, anything tangible that we want to study about will become the body under consideration. Types of bodies also act as a basis for classification of engineering mechanics, which we will come across later in this lecture. Coming on to the concept of force, I am sure that we all are much more acquainted with this term as we are studying force since our school days. Force can simply be defined as a push or a pull that a source applies on a body. This simple definition is the most effective one true for almost all problems that we deal with in mechanics. Forces can be of two types, contact forces and non-contact forces. In the first case, source is in direct contact with the body while applying a push or a pull. Some examples of contact forces are hammering of a nail, pulling or pushing of a cartwheel, friction forces, air resistance, spring force, etc. In the second case, source of applied force and the body under consideration are not in any type of contact. There is a field of effect surrounding the body which is responsible for the push or pull effects. Some examples of non-contact forces are electrostatic attraction or repulsion, magnetic forces, gravitational force, etc. Now we come to the term response. Response means how a body reacts under the action of force or a set of forces. For example, let us imagine a chair which is designed to bear the load of a sitting person. Let us assume that the chair is designed to withstand a load of 100 kilograms. I weigh 70 kilograms, so it is safe for me to sit on it. But if a person weighing 150 kilograms sits on the chair, then due to overloading it may break. This is how the chair might respond to different loading conditions. Now, sometimes the response is visible to our eyes due to its large magnitude. But in some cases, it is so small that we cannot detect it with our naked eyes. For example, the deflection of a loaded beam. There are a number of ways in which different types of bodies react under different loading conditions. Like a rubber band expands on application of a pull force, glass shatters if hit too hard, body of a car deforms and forms a dent if struck with ample force, an airplane flies up because of the jet engine. Now we proceed to the path where we will be learning the classification of mechanics or the different fields of mechanics. Study of mechanics can be classified on the basis of type of body and state of motion of the body. Mechanics can be classified into three categories based on the types of body. Rigid body mechanics, deformable body mechanics and fluid body mechanics. In rigid body mechanics, we deal with objects that do not change or deform when acted upon by any number of forces. Strictly speaking, 
rigid bodies can also deform under the action of a force but the change is so negligible that we can neglect it as the end results will not be affected by this negligible change for example if a push force is applied on a block it will slide but there will be no change in its shape in deformable body mechanics we deal with objects that tend to deform under the action of a force or set of forces for example if we apply a tensile force to a rubber band it will stretch and we observe an increase in length similarly a beam under a particular loading condition shows deflection and so a change in shape in fluid body mechanics we generally refer to the bodies that can flow that is all liquids and gases and some special cases like smoke particles talcum powder plasmas etc as these bodies have no fixed shape and they tend to occupy any available space that is provided to them fluids react in a very different manner than rigid bodies while under the effect of a force or a set of forces some examples of cases studied under fluid mechanics are water flowing in pipes motion of smoke particles and air movement over an automobile body structure rigid body mechanics deformable body mechanics and fluid mechanics constitutes a vast syllabus structure but in this course we will only deal with rigid body mechanics that is we will only study about the bodies that do not undergo a change in shape under the effect of force also at this point i would like you to know that the three fields of mechanics that we just study comes under the category of macroscopic mechanics which deals with large objects there is another field of mechanics that deals with sub atomic particles like atoms molecules etc and is known as quantum mechanics but in this lecture we will be studying only macroscopic mechanics state of motion of a body is another important criteria on the basis of which mechanics is classified as statics and dynamics dynamics is further divided into kinematics and kinetics in statics we study about bodies under the effect of balanced forces balanced forces means no net force and so no acceleration and the body is said to be in static equilibrium all the forces acting on the body cancel out each other and as a result we get a balanced condition this can be derived from newton's second law f is equal to ma if f is 0 then a is also 0 as mass can never be 0 so in statics we generally study about those bodies that experience zero net force and not necessarily zero force this constitutes bodies at rest and bodies moving with constant velocity in statics we generally come across bodies that are at rest because they are designed not to move like a building a chair a column a bridge etc all these bodies are in a state of static equilibrium however equilibrium can also exist in moving bodies bodies moving with constant velocity are also in static equilibrium because of no acceleration Take a case of a plane flying at 600 kilometers per hour at about 25000 feet without any turbulence. A passenger is sitting calmly and quietly watching a movie or listening to music as he cannot sense the speed because of constant motion. A static equilibrium analysis can be done on the passenger seat on which he is sitting. Even a glass of water kept in that plane is in static equilibrium however this will not hold true if the plane is taking off landing or experiencing turbulence because now the plane is changing speed or its direction of motion 
hence velocity changes which results in acceleration and now the body loses its equilibrium state in dynamics we study the response of bodies in motion experiencing unbalanced forces this means that the bodies have certain acceleration an accelerating or braking automobile plane during take off or landing a stone projected in air a freely falling body under the effect of gravity etc are some examples of cases that we study in dynamics dynamics is further classified as kinematics and kinetics kinematics can simply be defined as study of motion without studying the cause of motion in other words the forces that result in motion of a body are not studied in kinematics rather only the motion of the body is studied when we study about motion we are generally referring to four concepts that can completely define any motion yes we are referring to displacement velocity acceleration and time these concepts answer some specific questions in case of a moving body which are how far did we move how fast did we move how much faster can we go and how long does it take so kinematics generally discusses these four concepts and their mutual relation with each other in a particular scenario of a moving body kinetics on other hand studies the relation between unbalanced forces and the four concepts of kinematics in simple language kinetics deals with studying the cause of motion the most basic equation used in kinetics is the famous newton's second law of motion f is equal to ma where the left hand side is the resultant of unbalanced forces and right hand side contains acceleration and a constant of proportionality that is mass of the body summarizing whatever we discussed about different fields of mechanics on the basis of types of body mechanics can be classified into rigid body mechanics deformable body mechanics and fluid mechanics on the basis of state of motion of the body mechanics is classified as statics and dynamics where dynamics is further studied as kinematics and kinetics so today we covered a basic introduction to engineering mechanics next time we meet we'll be studying about some basic principles of physics that we apply in engineering mechanics keep learning keep growing see you next time